what's up bros? It's Kyle Riker coming with another video review and today we'll be reviewing the WE Elite Series 78 the original bro Matt Riddle. Right, I am so excited to finally have this figure. I've been dying to get my hands on this figure. Pretty much ever since Elite Series 78 came out I've been looking for this figure non-stop and so if you saw my R-Truth review then you'll know that I just went to Target recently and they had the whole set of Elite 78 just sitting there on the shelf. So I immediately had to grab this figure immediately because some of the prices are ridiculous for this figure online. But like you can't beat for 20 bucks when you find it in the store or even some of the prices it's going for on eBay or Amazon. This figure's just awesome. Anyways, to, before you take the figure, take the vacuum first. The collection, Matt Riddle. At the top, Series 78, WE logo, True FX. Picture of Matt Riddle on the side there. Elite Collection. Picture of Matt Riddle on the side. And the back. Picture of Matt Riddle. His bio and stats. You can pause right there if you want to read. And then the other figures in the set. We got Naomi, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, of course Matt Riddle, R-Truth, and Drake Maverick. Naomi, I'm, I'm definitely going to get her in the, uh, the regular and the chase at some point. Randy Orton, definitely going to get him. Kofi, I already reviewed. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Matt Riddle, obviously reviewing right now. R Truth was my was my previous review, so check that out if you haven't seen it. And Drake Maverick, I reviewed him last week. So check that so check those two out if you haven't seen it, as well as Kofi. Anyway, stay tuned for Randy Orton and uh, Naomi. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging. So let's open up the original bro and see what we got. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so here, so here we have the original bro, Matt Riddle, open up out of his packaging. And wow, this is a great figure, but unfortunately, I do have quite a few complaints with it. Now, again, that as the review goes on. First up, his accessories. He comes with uh, three pairs of, inter of interchangeable hands. First, he has his little, um, like his little hand sign he has when he's coming down the entrance ramp. He has a pair of standard gripping hands, as uh, or as my damn toys calls them, the mic holding hands, or as I call them, the championship holding hands, where you can hold like where you can hold the championship. And then more open hands, kind of like claws. Like, I call these the claw hands. It's the first time we've seen them in this skin tone, which is very nice to see because it definitely fits Matt Riddle. Because we've seen these with other figures, like Daniel Bryan, Drew McIntyre, etc. Of course, he comes with his Nike slides, which is very, very cool. And, of course, they're not going to pay for the the uh, the Nike logo, so it was just plain white. So very nice detail on these flip-flops or slides, as some people call them. And they fit on the figure very well. However, they make it a little tricky for him to stand up when he's wearing them. So if you're going to use this for uh, um, a figure photography or stop motion, definitely be wary of that. And they do come off uh, pretty nicely. I can slide these off. Kind of a little tight. There we go. Because these are new. I haven't broken them in yet. But once you break them in and put them on the figure a few times, uh, they should go on and off uh, pretty easily. Of course, it comes with a headband. Which is very nice. I can focus here. Yeah, I like the de I like the uh, yeah the uh, the design of it. It's pretty cool. And then finally, this awesome original bro jacket. It feels like the material that was used on the Elite Series sixty three uh, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. So, so that's just a little heads up for you. And that material is kind of fragile, so be very careful with this jacket. Anyways, on the front it says M Riddle has the original bro logo. On the back, it says the original bro. It's got some gold stripes. And I love how you can actually articulate the figure when he's wearing it. However, there's one thing I'm definitely going to uh, give you guys a heads up on. Uh, if you decide to take this jacket off, make sure he does not have these hands or, the, or these hands on him. Because this material, it can rip. So either make sure he has these like gripping hands on him or take the hands off completely, which I'm actually gonna do right now. So that way I don't rip the jacket. There we go. See, these are the hands he has on in the package, so obviously they're a little tight. There we go. And the jacket is Velcro removable on the front. There we go. And that slides right off. So as soon as you get it, 
under the hair. With a little bit of work and a little bit of patience, it does come off. Anyways, and I'm actually gonna give him the standard uh, gripping hands for right now. There we go. And then, like that. There we go. Anyways, so here's Matt Riddle, ready for action. Now here's where the big complaints come in. He's too big. His torso is too jacked. His arms are very small. And his legs are too big. I mean, he does have big legs, but they're not this big. I mean, come on. I think they should have given him maybe like the Seth Rollins torso to go with these arms. But whatever. Head scan is great. I think it's a lot better than the basic. But there's definitely one problem I have with it. His eyes, they're like almost shut. I mean, he does look at that, look at that a lot, but his eyes aren't that closed. I mean, come on. But I do think it's better than the than the uh, than the basic. Anyways, I love these shorts. These shorts are pretty cool. Original bro there, a bro in the front. Original bro logo on the back. I like that logo on the back there too. Pretty nice. He does have the uh, uh, ankle band during his ankle. He, he does have the mushroom tattoo. So pretty nice. So like I said, it's just a shame that that torso is too jacked and his legs are a little too big. But aside from that, I really like this figure, but since but the legs they used, they're definitely going to become very loose, which means it's going to be very difficult to stand up. So like I said, those are pretty much my only complaints about, these figure, uh, about this figure. Anyways, um, since it's starting to get a little dark in here, I'm going to turn the light on and then we're going to do some comparisons between his basic, as well as his former tag team partner, Pete Dunne. All right, so here we have the Elite Series 78 Matt Riddle compared to the Basic Series 103 Matt Riddle and his former tag team partner, the Elite Series 75, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. And these look pretty good. Anyways, uh, first up, let's take a look at uh, the Basic. Anyways, I like the attire on the Elite a lot better. I definitely like the head scan a lot better, but anyways, here's a little comparison there. Like, here's the head sculpts uh, side by side. Here's the Basic Series 103 and the new Elite 78. I think the hair is a lot better on the basic, and the smile is a little bit better on the basic, but as far as the actual likeness, it's a lot better on the Elite. Anyways, pretty nice. And then here he is next to his tag team partner, the Bru his former tag team partner and former tag team champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. And they look great together. I cannot wait to display these two next to each other, because I loved them as a tag team. Even though I prefer Pete Dunne as a single star and Matt Riddle as well, but I still really enjoy them as a tag team. Anyways, articulation is pretty much what you'd expect. Head can rotate 360. But his hair kind of hinders it, so be careful. Can't look down and can't look up either. Arms flare rotate 360. They can go in and out. Oops. Rotate at the bicep, bend the elbow, rotate at the wrist, and hinge. Ab crunch moves about that far forward and that far back, which is pretty nice. Swivel waist. Legs forward about that far. And Back to the original position, they can go in and out, rotate the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel up the calf, hinge at the ankle, it's very tight, and a very, very slight ankle pivot. But it, like he barely has it. Anyways, anyways, aside from his legs being a little bit too big and his torso being too jacked. Aside from that, this is a really great figure. I'm definitely very pleased with it. It's a definite step up from his basic. Final thoughts, I really, really enjoyed this figure. I love the accessories, I love the attire. But like I said, my only real complaints with it is the torso is too big and the legs are a little bit too big. I mean, like I said, I wish they could have given him maybe the Seth Rollins torso, I think it would have fit better and the legs could have been a tad bit longer. I, I mean, n not a, n not longer, duh, smaller, duh, oh, my bad. Anyways, thighs could have been a little bit smaller, and the torso could have been smaller as well. And also the arms are a tad bit too small, so basically his physique is all over the place. But, whatever, like I said, aside from that, it's a great figure, so I'd say if you're a Matt Riddle fan, if you can find him, find him for a good price, or possibly find him in the store... I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. Like I said, he is definitely the hardest figure to find from this set. So I'd say if you can find him in the store or get him for a good price, maybe online, maybe 
Amazon or eBay. I mean, ringside collectibles does have them in stock for about twenty-seven ninety-nine, but if you can get them cheaper than that, go for it. Anyway, so definitely pick them up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are down below. Be sure to get your official car record merch on my store on bonfire.com. Link down below. You can catch me just about every single Friday and Saturday on the Crash Mer Wrestling Podcast. Link to our channel down below. And make sure you uh, make sure you subscribe to that. And also make sure to you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video. And be sure to click on the click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I upload new new reviews every single Saturday right here on this channel. So as like I said, stay tuned for more reviews. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care guys. Bye. See you later, bros.